Elder. Elder is a tree that is an entire medicine chest in itself, supplying us with wonderful remedies throughout the year. We can use the leaves in spring, the flowers in summer, and the berries in autumn. The elder tree is a small tree, often described as shabby and untidy, and can be found growing throughout the UK in woodlands, hedgerows, parks and scrubland. The young bark is often covered in what looks like brown warts, but as the tree matures, the bark becomes furrowed and corky. Later in the year, the tree will be covered in clusters of creamy white flowers, which are followed by purple black berries in the autumn. Traditionally, elder leaf was used externally as a first aid herb to treat wounds, sprains and bruises, and as an insect repellent. It was also used as an external treatment for hemorrhoids, or piles, which are basically varicosed veins in your bum. For the first aid treatment of wounds, sprains and bruises, elder leaf poultice is great if you have them at hand. Simply mash up the leaves until the juices are released, then hold them in place over the affected area with a bandage. The leaves are also said to be a highly effective insect repellent and can be gently crushed and rubbed directly onto the skin to keep away mosquitoes and summer midges. Many people find the smell of elder leaves slightly unpleasant. I guess insects do as well. Here is a recipe for elder leaf ointment, a traditional treatment for hemorrhoids. To make elder leaf ointment, take a handful of elder leaves and add them to a stainless steel or enamel pot, along with 100 mils of sunflower oil. Put the pot in a tray filled with water to create a double boiler and gently heat the leaves in the oil for two to three hours until the leaves are crisp. Make sure your pot has a lid. When the leaves are finely crisp, strain the mixture and return the infused oil to the pot. Add about 10 grams of beeswax or shea butter and stir this in until completely melted in the infused oil. Pour straight into jars and label. Give the spent elder leaves to the compost this ointment is cooling and astringent and so is perfect for helping painful hemorrhoids retreat back inside where they should be.